What's up, Wolfpack? Today's October 2nd. I'm Gabby Bombalon. And I'm Ken Passion, and we're here for your distance learning announcements. President Trump announced he tested positive for coronavirus on Twitter earlier this morning. Here are the details from Nathan. Late Thursday night, President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump tested positive for the coronavirus. President Trump tweeted late last night, quote, Tonight, the First Lady and I tested positive for COVID-19. We will begin our quarantine and recovery process immediately. We will get through this together. This announcement comes after White House counselor to the president, Hope Hicks, tested positive for COVID on October 1st. Hope Hicks is among other individuals in the White House who have also been diagnosed with COVID, including three members of the White House press corps. There is currently no mask mandate in place at the White House, and according to reports by ABC, very few in the White House wear masks. Only after President Trump was revealed to have the virus were masks seen worn by White House officials on TV. The White House press secretaries posted a memo from Trump's doctor that characterized the first family's condition. Quote, after this afternoon, the president remains fatigued but in good spirits. He's being evaluated by a team of experts and together we'll be making recommendations to the president and first lady in regards to next best steps. First Lady Melania Trump remains well with only a mild cough and headache, and the remainder of the first family are well and tested negative for SARS-CoV-2 today. Later today, Trump posted his first tweet since 1 a.m. EST today containing a video with his message at about 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want to thank everybody for the tremendous support. I'm going to Walter Reed Hospital. I think I'm doing very well, but we're going to make sure that things work out. The First Lady is doing very well. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. I will never forget it. Thank you. Trump shortly thereafter boarded Marine One and landed at Walter Reed Hospital about 10 minutes later. The president will have spaces made for him to continue to work while at Walter Reed. Thanks, Nathan. So let's see what the latest update is on IMCO with Carson. Hi, welcome to the new IMCO website. Here's where you're going to find the most recent information about our PBIS program. Our homepage will always set you straight on what week it is and also remind you of the student schedule. And don't forget, every Wednesday is College and Career, and every Friday is a Spirit Day. So if you click on the What's Happening tab, you will be welcomed by what's going on with campus. Now, while we were on campus, you were able to see Ms. Corbin run around with the pop-up shop cart and allow you to get prizes, use those CL tickets. But unfortunately, being that we're virtual, we don't have that opportunity. On the IMCO recognition page, you'll find all the information about students who were recognized by their teachers. We do you still have a monthly drawing and if you ever need a reminder about how you're supposed to behave you can also come to this page how do you behave in a zoom and a meet how are you respectful responsible and engaged during your google classroom and what does home learning look like but also still respecting our four pillars sometimes you'll find new lessons on mindfulness what are your expectations for distance learning? All these lessons will be found on the lessons tab. Next, we have our wellness tab. So on this tab, you will find things to remind you how to get through some of these hard times. Make sure you take it a moment to breathe, to think about what's good that's happening. And last but not least, I wanna make sure that I recognize my team. We have some great people working to make sure that the IMCO program stays strong. So let's go ahead and meet the team. Again, I'm Ms. Corbin. I am the coordinator of the program, but we also have great people working with us, like Mr. Howdegie, our principal, Mr. Champion, our vice principal, Mrs. Henderson, Mrs. Gooley. We have Ms. Johnson, Mr. Venegas, Mr. Mason, Ms. Munson, Ms. Moslin, Ms. Whalen, also Ms. Moslin, and we also have Ms. Carson. So thank you all to all of those who are participating and providing students with the opportunity to win prizes, but also thank you to this team.
And it's about that time of the year again for Club Rush. You can find the Club Rush presentation on the club's page of the COHS website. There will be information on the clubs and when they meet on the presentation. You can also find it on the link provided in the description. Direct contact information can be found on the club page listing of clubs and groups to join. Be sure to join a club and stay connected. Tyler, the creator, released a new ice cream flavor in collaboration with the brand Jenny's Ice Cream. Here's me and Paula with more information on the new flavor. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Paula Sabulo. And I'm Gabby Bonbon, and we're here to share some more pop culture news. Grammy award-winning artist Tyler, the creator, teamed up with Jenny's Ice Cream for a second time to release the new flavor, Pluto Blue. Pluto Blue launched on September 17th on Tyler, the creator's Golf with Flair website and September 21st in Jenny's stores. Jenny describes the flavor to be a refreshing tart blue raspberry and a deep citrus orange. The addition of Jenny's buttermilk frozen yogurt enhances the blood orange and tropical blueberry flavor with creaminess. The idea for this new flavor was created when he met Jenny last year in LA and told her he enjoys eating blueberries with her rainbow buttermilk frozen yogurt. Now the ice cream is sold in the 47 Jenny's ice cream shops throughout the U.S. Last year, Tyler the Creator and Jenny's Ice Cream teamed up to make the snowflake flavor, which was a blend of mint, white chocolate, and sea salt. The flavor was a hit and sold over 4,000 pints in one day and over 20,000 scoops in the first week. Pluto Blue is only available while supplies last for $12 a pint. Fans can also purchase Tyler's Picks which include Pluto Blue and three of Tyler's favorite flavors, which are brown butter almond brittle, gooey butter cake, and Savannah butter mint. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Gabby Bonblon. And I'm Paul Sabulo. Be sure to check out this new out of this world flavor. And that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Ken Passion. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a good day, Wolfpack.